British heavyweight champion Alex Shane and Alex Matt Myers has been waiting for this opportunity for a very long time. He's not just been waiting for it, Dave, he's been training for it and he's been dreaming of it. And that training's going to come in very handy indeed because you said the most high octane British wrestling division on worldwide television today. But with a strict 10 minute time limit, there's an argument to say that it may just be the fastest wrestling division in the world today. And it's for that reason that Matt Myers is going to have to beat the clock if he wants to lead the whole City Hall as the new Gen X champion. He's looking confident, he's looking relaxed. But as we heard in that video package before the start of this match, Matt Myers has put an awful lot of pressure on himself. His friends and family are here, and he knows in the back of his mind the last twice he had big matches in this building, he came up short. Will it be third time lucky tonight? for the amazing one. And listen to this crowd, they've come here to see a title change, Matt knows it, but unfortunately for Matt, so does his opponent Bubblegum, and he's gonna do everything within his power to walk out of here with the Gen X Cup. The advantage does lie with the champion. There is a 10 minute limit. Matt Myers has to beat this man. This man does not need to beat him. Well, Bubblegum has become a master of the Gen X League. He was the first ever and only cup winner, and that's given him the advantage of really learning the limitations of a challenger to beat him in 10 minutes. We saw it before when Bubblegum faced Myers, and with one second on the clock, Matt Myers lost that match because the clock ran out. If he had had one second more, Dave, Matt Myers would be the Gen X champion now, but it didn't happen, and that's been in the back of his mind ever since that match. And how different history has unfolded as a result of that. Rather than having a Gen X champion we could be proud of, like Matt Myers, we've got this idiot. Bubblegum, one of the more disrespectful young men you could ever expect to meet, not just in the wrestling world, but anywhere in life. Well, one big disadvantage Bubblegum has is this is the second match this season where Chardonnay has not been at ringside. Chardonnay's modelling career is the reason that she said she wanted to be involved in pro wrestling has really kicked off. But in all of Bubblegum's the next matches, she's been there with the exception of that one against El Laguero. Will that be a disadvantage or will Bubblegum be able to work around it? We're about to find out. Let's take it over to Stevie Aaron. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. It is for the NGW Jax League Championship. Introducing first to my right is the challenger and number one contender. Hilling from Hull City. Winning tonight at 100. Challenger for the Gen X Cup is pumped and ready to go. In the opposing corner stands the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, hailing from the city of Manchester. And winning tonight at 184 pounds. He is your new generation wrestling Gen X League champion, bad guy. The man who must be beat within 10 minutes to lose that cup, and he knows it. Bubblegum, even in the absence of Chardonnay, not lacking in confidence. In fact, he's really reveling in mocking this crowd who so, so badly want Myers to win this. And look at Bubblegum already lacing his boots up. Every time we've seen Bubblegum in a Gen X match, remember, the referee cannot ring the bell until both men are holding that top turnbuckle and every single time Bubblegum has taken forever. And you've got to believe that in a match this important, we're going to see a mirror image of that exact scenario. Referee giving his final instructions to the champion and to the challenger. We are about to get underway. Oh, Bubblegum, oh. quick. Well, look at the surprise on what Matt, Matt Myers' face. Um, he's never done that before. Now, Bubblegum 
as the clock starts, 10 minutes is the time limit, and Bubblegum is immediately leaving the ring. It's just mind games. It's giving Matt Myers that stop-start adrenaline rush. For a moment, he thought he was going to get going, and then Bubblegum's done exactly what we assumed he would do, which is stall for time. It's a clever strategy, but can you imagine how frustrating that must be for Matt Myers with his family and friends here? Well, Myers knows that the clock is ticking down. He's going to throw Bubblegum. Bubblegum lured him in and kicked him in the side of the head. And the champion, using that cunning to take advantage in the early going. So the action coming thick and fast, it's already spilled to the outside. We've got to go to a break right now, as this one continues. Bubblegum against Matt Myers for the Genix Cup. Matt Myers and Bubblegum continuing to compete here for the Genix Cup. And Alex, throughout the break, they have continued to brawl on the outside. Well, when you've only got 10 minutes, Dave, high impact offense is what it's all about. And nothing's more high impact than landing on that hard wooden floor on the outside. Bubblegum going for the Bulldog Myers there with a counter, but another one of those vicious kicks from Bubblegum into a German suplex. Wow, you know, you talk about high impact offense, and I said nothing's more high impact than landing on the outside, but Bubblegum there, series of moves that prove that behind all of the showboating, behind all the cocky swagger, this guy is in an, uh, an incredible in-ring competitor. Matt Myers struggling to get to his feet on the apron as the champion goes back to continue the assault, not going to let Myers rest. But once more, Bubblegum throwing Myers to the outside, and Alex, of course, this suits Bubblegum because Myers cannot beat him if he's outside the ring. Yeah, and did you see the way Bubblegum threw Myers out? Myers landing really hard on the apron. Don't forget, that apron is the hardest part of a wrestling ring. It's all wooden steel. But Myers using the adrenaline and the will of this crowd to keep him going, and Bubblegum straight back to the offense. You just get the feeling at the moment that Matt Myers needs to find a way to get a foothold in this match, or it might slip away. Here comes the champion again. Oh, oh my. my God. Goodness. And 30% of this match has already been lost to Matt Myers. And with moves like that, Bubblegum is proving, I guess, Dave, that that cup's going nowhere in his mind. And I would say over half of that time has been spent on the outside as well, which is exactly how Bubblegum wants it. Matt Myers, I know, has spent a lot of time training in preparation for this match with trainees at the NGW Academy, trying to work out strategies to beat an opponent within 10 minutes. But of course, in this situation, with this much pressure, the game plan goes out the window. I mean, it is a great strategy, but the fact remains that Bubblegum is just the best man in England at that Gen X style. It's why he's held onto the cup for so long. And with the strategy we're seeing from him, it proves that behind everything Bubblegum brings to the ring, there is a strategy, there is a tactician. You know, when he tries to get under the skin of an opponent or the skin of a crowd, it's part of a plan and the plan is paying off. Bubblegum now going to send Myers to the corner, it's countered. The challenger trying to find his way back into this. And Bubblegum picked up and dropped down. Vertical suplex by the challenger, here he comes again. And a drop kick. And Myers getting his first offensive flurry in this one so far. Bubblegum not even letting him get a one count. And you can believe that around the monitor right now is a collection of the NGW roster. Oh, look, look at that. Matt Myers asking, what's the time? Matt Myers keeping an eye on that time. And as I was saying, the NGW roster have got to be around the monitor in the back right now. And at the head of that pack will be Nathan Cruz, who's waiting for Matt Myers to make a decision on being part of his team for Team Warfare. Yeah, Myers being so focused on this match in the past few weeks has said to his best friend Nathan Cruz that he cannot even begin to think about Team Warfare and whether he wants to be a part of Team NGW until this match is out of the way, whether successful or not. I'd say it's a really smart strategy for Myers. Oh, look at that knee there by Bubblegum gets out. Because why lose focus on a match that's so important when the most important match in NGW history is just around the corner? You can only pick one thing at a time, and he's picking the title. The Bubblegum has gone to the top rope. Blows a kiss to someone in the crowd, went for the double foot stomp, but the challenger moved out of the way, and that may have kept him in the contest. Spinning back kick there, flying kick, and a leg sweep there by Bubblegum. Double foot stomp on the ribs of Matt Myers. Goes for the cover, he's got the leg hooked. Myers is just able to kick out, and well, on the plus side, at least the footstop that did hit 
was the one from the ground, not from the top rope, because that could have been fatal to Matt Meyer's chances. And we are rapidly approaching the six minute mark here, and both men have got to be aware of that time. Oh, look at Bubblegum pulling Myers up by the nose. This guy's just vicious. I promise you, Alex, Matt Myers is aware of the time. I think every second that passes, He's putting more and more pressure on himself, and I'm not sure that's a positive thing. He's got his family here. He's aware of the losses he's had in this building before. And in his mind, Matt Myers being a very emotional person, I wonder if he's starting to dread that it might be all about to happen again. Well, I was here when he challenged Rampage Brown for the NGW title, and there was such a pro Myers sentiment in the audience, and he fell short that night. Who can blame him? You know, Rampage Brown was an unstoppable monster. Then it was Matt Myers against Nathan Cruz. As, look at that bubblegum asking for the time. And he fell short against Cruz. He doesn't want this to be the third time unlucky. He wants it to be third time a charm. And he's going for that ice cream headache. It's bubblegum. Bubblegum trying to put Myers away. Myers fought out and got the cover. Only good for a two count. Myers. As the time goes on, having to find more and more ways to quickly try and bring this match to a conclusion. What's he going for here, Dave? He said he'd been oh, he said he'd been training for pinfalls and submissions, and now we're seeing a part of that. And there's an arm bar, you see. Bubblegum has got that hook grip to stop his arm being hyperextended, which would leave him with no choice but to tap out. Cross arm breaker attack to look at Bubblegum there. Oh, but Myers holds on. Oh, he's got And now he's got it. Got that he's got it. That's not good for Bubblegum. He's going to need to. Yeah, and he does get to the ropes. Yeah, my, uh, Bubblegum, excuse me, got that foot to the ropes. I think he probably had, what, a second or two left if he hadn't done that. And we are over seven minutes into this one, and I'm feeling the pressure and the tension. Look, yeah, so is Myers. Look, he's asking Stevie Air, and he's saying seven and a half minutes. We haven't got much time to get your breath back, Matt. Come on. Bubblegum charges at him, but Myers moves. And when you've only got, what, 160 seconds left to try and win this, what do you do? You that, take a risk. That Dave Bradshaw, biggest risk of the match so far, and just a two. But it may be that that's what Matt Myers needs to do, more of the same. It's going to be feast or famine for the challenger. One mistake, and his chance could be gone. These are the two minutes that Matt Myers has worked towards for months. And it looks like he's going for that Myers stunner. If he hits it, there's the kick. Bubblegum off, blocks it. Bubblegum had that scouted, sends Myers onto the apron. Oh, he blocks that kick, comes back. Bubblegum tries to block it, gets it in the arm. And what's Myers going for here? Again, another risk. Myers knows that that's the time in the oh. match. He's reached, oh no. Went for a spring ball 450 assaults there and found nothing but canvas, wood and steel. Oh, and Shining Wizard, he calls that the sugar rush. And that could be all. He's got it too. Come on, Myers. Oh. Yes, Myers gets out on two and three quarters. Less than 90 seconds left, Dave. The odds are very, very much stacked against the challenger now. Bubblegum taking his sweet time, knowing he just has to ride this out for, what, just over 60 more seconds. And Bubblegum has got that wrist tape and he stuffs it in the mouth of Matt Meister. Really disgusting. Especially in front of the guy's family. Absolutely no need. And he's going for that ice cream headache again, that double underhook pedigree variation. And oh, look, Myers is Myers blocking. Yeah, he's using all of his strength. Oh. Not much energy left in the tank for Myers. And that might take some more out. Another kick to the head. Bubblegum's hit him with those, what? three or four times in the contest. Bubblegum's asking for the time, we've just got 30 seconds left. Big knee in the corner. Oh, I think it's going to happen again. Bubblegum going for the, uh, another kick, goes for the stunner, does, does Myers. Oh. That's all, that's all, game over. Dave, just 20 seconds left. Myers is trying to fight back. We're down to 15 seconds though. Bubblegum hits the ropes. The champion is stunned. Here comes Myers. Hang on, hang on, my stunner! Stunner by Myers! Five seconds, Dave! It's the cover! The cover, there's two! Has Myers yes. got it? Yes! Did it. Has he got it? Oh my, that's close! That is close! Hold on! Is he... It's official! One second on the clock, Dave! New Gen X champion! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match! And you! Because for the first time ever, you felt that both competitors were so aware of that clock, they couldn't...
Joe stopped looking at it, we didn't stop looking at it. When Matt Myers said that next time he faced Bubblegum, he would be that little bit faster, that little bit quicker, who would have believed that it would be by just one second? Because at 9.59, Matt Myers is the new Gen X champion. Alex, think of all the demons that Matt Myers had created for himself in his own head, convincing himself that he was living in the shadow of his best friend Nathan Cruz, convincing himself that he had some kind of curse on him in Hull City Hall. All of that weight lifted off his shoulders in this, a career highlight for Matt Myers. There's a saying in Olympic sprinting that a nose can be the difference between gold and silver. Well, in the Gen X League, a single second is the difference between commiseration and excellence. And tonight, Matt Myers has proved that he is excellent. Well, having answered his critics, having answered his own self-doubt, where does Matt Myers go from here? Will he become the fourth member of Team NGW? That's a question for another day, but right now, victory belongs to Matt Myers.